I was riding my motorcycle home and got onto Doyle Drive following a large vehicle and all of a sudden it left the lane and there was a stalled car. I hit the back of the car and I knew I wasn't going to be all right. When I got to San Francisco General, it turned out that I had a rupture of the ascending colon and a very serious abdominal condition. The triage nurse performs a medical screening exam and they're very good at doing this very quickly. All of the surgeries that I got at San Francisco General saved my life. There is no doubt whatsoever that if I hadn't been triaged and diagnosed immediately, I would have died from it. We provide the final answer, the highest level of care, as quickly as possible for people who are injured. We see an enormous number of patients who are, of people who are either in car accidents or hit by cars or on bicycles that hit cars. It started out as a typical day, a happy day with my family. We were doing last minute wedding shopping and all of a sudden we got hit by a car. The firefighters saved me and pulled me out of my car and transferred me uh, to SF General Hospital where I was uh, quickly uh, wheeled into the ER where I received um, a quick assessment of my injuries and uh, the doctors were able to save my life. One of the main things that keeps us going in this department is that we're so proud of the care we deliver. I really regard the staff here at SF General as my family. We're very passionate about it because we get to make a difference in people's lives, which is why we all do it, whether or not it's the, your neurosurgeon you'll talk to or orthopedic colleagues or anyone else. We want to make a difference in people's lives. You really get a chance to do that in a place like this. I really wanted to come back here for medical school and stay here for residency because I wanted to invest in my community and be able to be a doctor in my own community. And San Francisco General is the only level one trauma center in the city and county of San Francisco. It's a really important hospital for everyone who lives here. I was riding my bicycle down DuBose Street in San Francisco with my helmet on and a driver who was very eager to pull into a parking space right in front of me and didn't see me. I slammed on my brakes and I went headfirst over the handlebars. When the ambulance arrived at the hospital, I was taken immediately to one of the trauma rooms. I felt very well taken care of, and professional is really the main word that I would use. That and compassionate, you know, those two words really sum up the experience I had. Um, caring for each other as a community, um, investing in the people of San Francisco regardless of where they come from or what language they speak, those are values that I think um, we like to think that our city really embraces. I like to think that. And uh, so to me, the work we do here really epitomizes that. We're a full service hospital, so we're a trauma center, yes, but we provide care for 100,000 people. We provide care for people who are uninsured, underinsured, but we provide care of anyone. We really have to be prepared to take care of the population in the event of a major catastrophe such as the earthquake in Haiti. We have many, many old buildings on this campus that are not earthquake proof and we need to be able to take care of our citizens and protect them no matter what. Frequently we're, we're just so inundated with patients that we have them in the halls on gurneys waiting to be seen or, or actually sometimes receiving care in the hall because we're just so impacted with a shortage of space. In the new hospital building we're going to have the ability to take care of 60 patients at any given time rather than the 27 and we'll have the flexibility to actually double that number and care for 120 patients in the emergency department during a disaster. We're going to go to six trauma rooms with two CAT scanners right next to each of the trauma rooms, uh, right in the central area where the trauma rooms are. That's going to enhance our ability to provide trauma and medical care or for critical care patients incredibly. We like to do good things, so we get a chance to ride on a white horse, save the day, do something really good. And I think that's the reason why people work here, because they get a chance to do that all the time. I actually really do feel like it's the heart of the city, and I love the city. and. Uh, so that's why I want to work here.